Welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. This is Marcia. I hope you're having a great day. Oh, I've got a lot in store for you today, so I hope you're ready to have a lot of fun with me. So we're going to do a lot of unboxing. I have Happy Mail. I have uh, Anna Griffin card making kit that we're going to do together. I told you about it in a previous video, so if you're a subscriber, welcome back, and you're going to love finding out about this card kit so that you can decide if you want to get it for yourself. And then second is Happy Mail from my friend Rita in Georgia. We're doing a seed swap this year for our gardens. So we both do heirloom seeds and organic gardening. So I'm going to be doing my container gardening and she's going to be doing a um, lasagna gardening method. And that's just like what it sounds. So if you've ever made lasagna and you know how you do it in layers, that's exactly what you do in a lasagna garden bed. You layer the materials one on top of the other. Soil, of course, is your top part. And then you have different layers as you go on down. I did try that one year. I'm in Florida. It wasn't too successful. And all the things that were supposed to decompose you really need to start that um, process like in the winter, several months for all the materials to break down properly. And then I have um, orders from my Etsy shop, Pioneer Fundraiser, which is my vintage shop. It's all vintage supplies and home decor items. So I have some fabric going out to two customers. So I have those orders getting ready to go. So thank you so much for everyone who is supporting my shop and actually that helps me to continue to go do my channel and um, because it's just a, a supplemental for my Etsy shops and it's just for me to ha enjoy myself buy my supplies um, and you know I, I would like to be able to get it to where it could actually be you know an actual bring in a supplemental income <laughs> but at this point it's just pocket change and with Etsy's fees and all those kind of things that you have to take into consideration when you're running a business, you know, it costs money. It's not cheap like people think it is. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you first of all, and the reason why I have my gloves on is um, just for safety precautions. And my friend just let me know that she's sick. <laughs> so I said, well, you know what? I'm gonna use gloves when I open her package and then um, I will be able to protect myself. So I have lemongrass. This is really going to be fun. I've not planted herbs in my garden before. Nasturnum, of course. This is going to be for bug repellent. Um, Gypsophilia. I've never heard of that, so that one was a fun one. A sunflower mix. I love sunflowers, and I just would love to be able to have them growing in my backyard. Pollinators and all that for my certified wildlife backyard habitat that would be beautiful and blue balloon so I am hoping that those flowers are little you know miniature looking balloons that are just all fun <clears throat> and alisaum am I saying that right and mixed marigolds oh she just sent me a wonderful assortment I'm so excited butternut squash acorn squash uh, sweet dumpling squash, and I just love these little seed packets, and spaghetti squash. Aren't those wonderful? And then she sent me the planting instructions for each of those squashes. So I'm really excited about this. And then I sent her seeds from my collection, and so I'm just really looking forward to it. So I thought I was going to get be able to plant last weekend, but it, we had too many other things happening. And then this weekend, Saturday, is my Zoom craft time event. I do that once a month. And then the following Saturday is our um, memorial celebration of Christ's death that we do every year. And that, of course, is on Zoom as well. So this weekend, the rest of the month, is pretty busy. And then, so April, I may try to squeeze in on a Sunday with my husband. He helps me. Uh, but Saturday is definitely out for this week, and um, next week possibly, uh, but it, it's just kind of like iffy Sundays are going to be my days. <clears throat> so when I get out there 
planting, I will definitely um, do a video, and you'll be able to follow along, and it's going to be um, hosted on my Sunshine Homemaker channel. But I will do a video on this channel to give you a heads up and say, hey, head on over to Sunshine Homemaker and watch me do my whole planting process. And then you'll get to see what's in my garden now and what um, I'm going and as I plant and how I plant. All right, so let's get started with this unboxing of the Anna Griffin Iris Folding Card Making Kit. Okay, so it comes in this beautiful box with Velcro, so I can keep all the contents in here safe and sound and secure. All right, there's an instruction sheet, and it has four designs on it, so you get to do, oh, and then there's more on the inside, so, oh, this is beautiful. Look at all of this variety. Oh, I hope I get to make all of these in this kit. I will be so ecstatic. All right. Oh, wow. This is just wonderful. And then I can change up the sentiments. So the ones that I don't use and the images that I wouldn't use, then obviously I will just not use those. But oh, the teapot and the butterfly. I love it. The elephant, oh, this is perfect, a little baby onesie for a baby shower. Isn't that adorable? And this cake, that would be perfect for an anniversary. An apple, a cupcake, a flower, a heart, a hat, party hat could be used for any occasion. A dress, a pear, uh, what is this? Like a pack, the package, I guess, a package, and an owl. Oh, so, so cute. And it wouldn't be just for baby. Owls are cute any time. That would be a perfect get well. Okay, so now, over on the back. Oh, this feel better. That would be great for my friend who's not feeling good. I can make a card up for her. And, of course, I saved the bag because, you know, now we're using these bags to protect our surface and to be able to glue, ink, whatever we're going to do and without damaging the surface. Okay, now look at all the beautiful paper pieces. Now this gives you an idea <clears throat> that you can do this yourself with your own supplies that you have on hand. So all you need to do is cut your pieces this size. So that's what we're going to do. And this one, I don't know, is that supposed to be like that? Oh, okay, this must have just been folded somehow. Maybe they folded it to let you know to fold it. Okay, so you have all those papers. All right, let's see if it tells you anywhere what came in the kit. Uh, let's see. Choose four different patterns from the paper strips provided. For each card design, you will need 28 strips of paper. Seven each of four patterns. Okay, so that's 28 altogether. That's why it tells you 28. The samples shown in the idea sheet each use four different patterns. Each strip of paper is pre-scored. Ah, that's what that was. Fold the strip in half along the score line and organize into groups by pattern. Keep patterns separated so it will be easy to keep track of what pattern has been used. All right, so let me take this first one out. Okay, so now... I see. They're not scored in half. They're scored at like a quarter inch. Let me fold it over and then you can see. All right, so first I'm going to fold it this way. But then I'm going to fold it back this way. That should make it easier to fold. And even though I've got the light on in my room, it does not is not helping me to see all right, so I'm going to fold it in the middle first. But that score line is not really, it's not really good. <laughs> not scored really good. And it doesn't look like it's even scored either. So let me just fold it. Okay. All right, so now you can see that's how much when you fold it that you need to leave. 
as a space. So it's not folded in half, it's folded, like I said, like on the quarter inch amount. So let's see. All right, let's see how wide they are. So they're an inch wide, and then this is folded on a third. So it's not even at the fourth, it's at a third, because here's half. So it's the one right before, that's a third. I, when I use measurement, I'm a cooker, I'm a baker. Okay, so I cook. I don't build things. <laughs> My husband would know and he would tell me, honey, that's seven eighths, that's five eighths, that's whatever, three eighths, whatever. So I don't do it that way. I'm like one eighth, one fourth, one third, one half, two thirds, three fourths, one inch. You see how that works? Works for me. Okay, so now that I know on a ruler, I know it's called something different. Why they couldn't make it universal is beyond me. All right, so here's these. Okay, so now just so you see, see that. All right, and then what do we have as far as length here? Five and a half. So you're going to make five and a half by one inch. That's the size you want to do for this little project. Now here's your pattern, and I'm assuming that you could go and Google it. And for the iris fold pattern, kind of like a quilt, paper piecing is what this reminds me of. Now, because I quilt, then I've done it before, so that I, that's why I can immediately relate it to that, because I've done it. All right, now, step number three. The template below is a numbered guide for taping your strips to make the iris. Tape a strip of pattern one, folded side facing into the center of the template along the number one position. Tape a strip from pattern two along the number two position. Your strips will start to overlap. Tape a strip from pattern three along the number three position and tape a strip of pattern four along the number four position. All right, are we with, are we with this on this already? I hope so. This template is acetate, so you can easily remove your finished design. This is acetate. Doesn't look like acetate to me. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Silly me. I didn't see it over there hiding. Here's the acetate template. <laughs> okay, and then here's all the instructions, and I don't know why they did it like this, because now with the instructions there and then this here, it makes it very difficult. Okay, so I'm going to have to, yeah, open that up. All right, so now we're going to lay this down. Slide everything over. Put the ruler over here. <clears throat> okay. Just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so you take strip number one. <clears throat> okay, tape a strip of pattern one. Folded side facing into the center of the template. Folded side. Folded side facing. Oh, oh I see what they're saying. Okay, so it would go like this. So here's the folded side. Here's the center. So you want it facing that way. All right, and then this, let's just pretend this is the second pattern. So you would do the same thing here. And even though they're saying it's gonna overlap, so I'm assuming, does it mean it goes like this? Here, like this. And then this is here like this. And I'm taping it down, and I'm taping it down, which I would use washi tape because then that won't stick on here and rip it and harm it. Okay, so it's just a wee bit. I'm talking a smidgen. <laughs> you know that's one of my favorite words. Um, <clears throat> and it says it's going to overlap. So like I'm saying right here, I don't really see it overlapping. This, These two don't overlap yet. All right. And then let's just go ahead and get some other colors going on here just so that we have our four I'm just picking anything from this. I'm not uh, worried about what it is right at the moment. Okay. All 
All right. I'm going to go ahead. Let's see what do we have here. Okay, now. All right. Hold this. So we're going to put this one here. Hold this. Maybe I'll do this one here. Okay. And then this one goes here. Okay, now, now it can see where it's going to overlap. Okay, so this would be here. And then we're going to fold this. And then this one would be here. Now, it doesn't say but I'm assuming that you would want to line this up here on this side, and then this excess is going out there, and then this is lined up here at this corner. So I'm, I'm putting the excess to the narrow end and the even it up on the starting point end. So I hope that makes sense. All right, now we continue to do this. And so let me fold it all up and I'll tape it all down, and then I will be back. Okay, now I just wanted to show you the progress, give you an update. All right, I just moved it over, and then it moved this over. Okay, so the first layers, you tape them to the acetate. So you can see right here I used double-sided tape. <clears throat> this one is extended past the acetate, so I taped it to my uh, work surface. But over here, on this side, it was taped to the acetate and then this one. Now, each layer after that, you repeat the same colors side by side. So number five is the same as one, number six is the same as two, number seven is the same as three, number eight is the same as four, okay? And then when you start with number nine, uh, you start back with the number one color. Now, a little tip here, I did not have, you're supposed to use double-sided tape, and you put the double-sided tape not on the acetate, but on the paper, and then you stick the next one on top of it. So I didn't have any double-sided tape, I'm out and it's coming in an order, hopefully, pretty soon. So what I used was my handy dandy scotch glue stick, very carefully, make sure I'm not getting it on the acetate, and I'm coming with it onto the paper, right here where I know that I'm going to be gluing the second layer. And then I go over here and I do the same thing here. And you can see how the pieces get smaller and smaller and smaller, so you don't have to glue the whole strip, don't tape, don't waste your double-sided tape in gluing the whole strip. You just want to stick to where the pattern is at. So I'm using my double-sided glue stick and I'm keeping it on this side away from the acetate. Same thing here. <clears throat> 12 is here. So I just wanted to show you this real quick and then I'll go back to putting them all together. I didn't know if you wanted to hang out with me and see me do the whole thing. And because it always takes a lot longer and I'm trying to get my videos shorter. Okay, so the number nine will go here. And I just... Number 10 goes here. Just overlaps a little bit over that to the next one. Number 11, and you notice the folds are all going in to the center, like it said. And that one goes there. Everything is supposed to overlap a little tiny bit. 
not a lot, but a little. So now I'm going to come here with this number 12, and it's going to overlap just a little bit onto this one here, and then bring it down here. So it touches this one, and it touches that one just a little bit. And it says you can lift it up and look at your progress, but I would not recommend that. <laughs> I can see a disaster happening if you try to start moving it. So I'm going to come here. Keeping my glue stick toward the paper side and not going on the acetate side. Sure you follow the pattern because it's very easy to start angling it the wrong way. It's very sticky, but I want it to be sticky, so that's good. Right, so we'll move this one into there. And this one right here. And this is so beautiful when it's done absolutely worth it 100% to get the kit. So I bought the kit, if you missed that in the beginning, off of Home Shopping Network. And Tuesday is, um, the whole month of March is National Craft Month. But every Tuesday on Home Shopping Network, that's their craft program series. And so I went to their website, I went to the craft section, I typed in Anna Griffin because I know I love her stuff and I wanted to get her products during this event. And um, when I saw this kit, because I already knew, did I do, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, 13. 1456. Okay. Yeah. It's easy to check your number, so that's good. I almost I was worried I was putting it in the wrong spot. And so then anyway, so then when I saw the kit and I was I knew the kit because a friend of mine had made me a card one year and um, it was this beautiful fold and I said, Oh, what is that? And then when she told me it was called an iris fold, but she didn't say that she, where she learned it from, because she's a card maker herself. But she goes on Pinterest and different things like that for inspiration. Isn't it beautiful? Ha ha ha. I just get so excited about this stuff. Oh, because I know what it's going to look like on the other side. You guys don't know, but I do because I have a card. And I have made these without the pattern, but buddy, it was hard. So this is so much easier. It was worth it to buy. I mean, and the kit's worth it. It's a very good price. Very reasonable. So I was like, yeah, that is a no-brainer. I am getting that kit. All right, where am I? Ah, uh, huh, wait a minute. Why do I keep doing this? I keep putting it down and then I forget what number I'm on. I know I stopped on the green, but how come it, what is that? Okay, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. Where's 21? Wow, 21 is way over here. Okay, that's what was throwing me. See, now the colors are starting to see these all stay. Okay, now it's flipping over here. Okay, remember the fold has to go in, inward, so keep that, keep a check on that. And so now this one goes here bitty little spot. So now I want the yellow. 22. Fold going to the center. Wait, I need glue. Need more glue. Okay, it's starting to get a little tricky on this little itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty. Okay, so now I need it here, I need it here. Making sure, put some back here, just make sure. Putting it all over the place. 
23 goes here. Four and then here. Twenty five. Look at how tiny it is. Oh, my goodness. Make sure you go around and put your glue on all these that you just put down. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't leave that out a minute ago. Well, if I did. <laughs> oh, well. Don't ask me what goes in the center. I don't know. Got to look at the instructions. I'm sure it will tell me. Okay. All right, well, that's all the strips. I've used them all up. So, now here's instructions on the acetate piece as well, so you don't ever have to worry if you lose this. It's attached. It's one big piece, and you just unfolded it, and then your pattern was here. Okay, so now we have all the strips done. Now let's look at this. It says, okay, dokie. Once you complete your design, carefully remove it from the template. Turn it over so the pattern side of the strips is facing up. Choose a die cut card layer. Okay. So now that's over here from here. Okay. Choose a die cut card layer. Center the die cut shape over your iris design. Adhere the card layer to the iris design with double-sided tape. Trim any excess paper from the edges of the card layer. Adhere the card layer with finished iris design to the folded card surface of your choice. Which is now this. So see, everything comes in the kit. This is a complete card making kit. Then you choose your sentiment, embellish it with the sentiment tag to complete your card. Alrighty then. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to look in here. Okay. And we're going to go through. Let's see, so I think she gave me one of each that we saw. So the flower, that's beautiful. So obviously this would go this way, you see. And the pear, go like that. Or the party hat, or the present. That would be cute for anniversary, graduation, baby shower. Uh, elephant, this is a baby shower, definitely, definitely baby shower. Okay, so we're going to just take on any of that. This could be, did I say anniversary? Yeah, it would be good. All right, this is the party dress, the apple, that, the tea kettle, this I'm saving, saving special, a heart, the onesie, cake, the cupcake, the owl, cute as could be, and a butterfly. Just beautiful. Okay, so the butterfly I have to save. The tea kettle. Where's the tea kettle? Where's the tea kettle? I thought I said something. Okay, there's the tea kettle. 
Okay, the flower, all this other thing I can use. Okay, so these are baby shower. I'm going to set these over here. I already set these aside for what I know. I'm gonna, this would be perfect for anniversary to your spouse. Beautiful. Okay. I don't celebrate Valentine, so wouldn't do it for that. It'd be great for your child, your daughter. Tell them how much you love them. Okay, another baby shower. Boy, there's lots for baby shower. My goodness. Okay, so now I have the pear, the flower. Now I'm trying to think of the co colors that I chose here. The pear would look good. This, eh, no. That would look good. That, that would look good too. I like that. The fruit, so the fruit, the fruit looks like it's going to win out. Okay, so these are just beautiful. These two for like a tea party kind of a thing. I might do that with a Zoom tea party. And the butterfly, oh, just love this butterfly. Now what I'm thinking, got to figure this out. I don't know if she sells just these templates. But if she doesn't, then I can use my own dies. You can do the same thing. So let me give you the measurements of this. So this is four and a quarter by hmm, six and a quarter. Okay, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So now you can cut this out and make your own, just like I told you with these here, what the size was for that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully, okay, let me get this one piece of tape up off my work surface. Now I'm going to hold on to it and turn it over. There you have that beautiful finished design. Now this is what I wanted to look at and show you. So even though on here, on the template, you see how this one doesn't come over here to this line? So that was kind of misleading me there, even though the instructions said everything needs to overlap. So right here, you see it's just a wee bit of a gap right there. You can barely see it. And a wee bit of a gap right here but everything else, and then the center, I don't know what's supposed to go in the center. But now, okay, let's see. Okay, wait, wait, let me think. Think. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, so I have to peel, <laughs> I have to peel it off because the template, card template has to go on top of that. I was, I thought I was gonna put it here because I'm afraid. Okay, so let's just hold everything down. Don't panic. All right, so come under here really very carefully, very carefully. Release that washi tape. Okay. So actually that washi tape is going to come in handy because it's going to stick hopefully to the... Okay, that one's off. Okay, that one's off. That one's off. And okay, that one's off. All right, let me lift very, very gently, very gingerly. And that, see the washi tape? It doesn't stick any other time, but now, oh yeah, now it wants to stick. Apparently, guess what? It sticks to really good, guys. Acetate. <laughs> uh, don't mess up my pattern. I'll have a conniption fit. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Lay that to the side. All right, let's see. Let's go with the apple. turn it over now. Okay. So now I can sit here and play around with it. And you want to center it. I don't know. If, I, I'm assuming this must be your center. Yeah, here's the center. Oh, see, look, there's a pattern here. I don't know how, how did I miss that? So that is supposed to be filled in with something. All right, where's the apple? Okay, so... Hmm. All right, let's 
see. So it really, so the square stays, okay, so the square, that's, okay, so, the, so this stays squared is what I'm looking for. All right, so now what I'll do, you see, is I'm going to cut all this off, and then I will use one of these for my center. And it looks like they use number one for the center. Where's my... Yeah, one is, yeah, let's see. Yeah, green, okay, yes. So whatever you start off with is what you should end up with here in the center. So this is this rose paper here. So this is what I'm gonna do. So I like it like that. Let's put this here. And let's bring our template back over. And then I can lay this down here. Okay, now just press it down. Just beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now let me... I want to kind of center it up on that side there. Okay, which actuality, I just realized... Very careful. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, this was number one. <sighs> I like that better like that. Okay. Not that anybody else will know, but me. Okay, let's see. This has to be squared here. Keep that little guy squared. Okay, I like it like that. Okay. Now this is good. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this little smidgen of washi I'm going to bring it over here, and I'm going to just put it right there on that edge, just to hold that in place for me. Okay. And now I'm going to take my scissors. <clears throat> I'm going to cut this excess one off here. And now we can bring it over here. I'm just going to lift it up, and let's see if that will fill in the hole. Yes, it does. Okay, so turn it back over. Get my glue stick. Okay, now glue all of this edge. Okay, so I'm assuming this is how you, what you do is you just take and cut off that little smidgen because I didn't have any extra piece. Because there's 28 and there's 28 strips when you start off. Okay, so now I'm going to open this up, and then I'm going to lay it in here. Now I can turn it back over. There. Now you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? Just absolutely gorgeous. Now I will trim all this off and then I'll come right back. Okay, I want you to see me do all this every step of the way. Okay, let's bring this back over. Keeping it square. Positioning my apple where I wanted it to go. Okay. 
Okay, now trim it off. So I want you to see everything. Do you need me to show you the trimming part? You can forward if you don't want to watch, but I thought some of you might want to see every little thing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it every bit together. Okay, so I'm just going to come right here. And save those pieces because now you can use them to make more. As you saw that some of them got down to very tiny little pieces. So these are all can be utilized in future. So what I'll do is I'll take one of these bags and I'll start to just save all these scraps in it, you see. Gotta be perfect. Get those out of the way. We don't need those right there. Okay, so now, let's see if I got everything trimmed. This looks a little piece. Just go back and make sure every little smidgen of it is trimmed flush. Just beautiful. Oh. Just love this, absolutely love it. Now, the next step was to take one of these beautiful cards and we're going to put it on I like to save these bands. It's very thick, nice. So, you don't ever know, you might need it for something. All right, now let's see. All right, how does this go? So that's going to go on top of one of these. Let's see. Oh, I see. Huh. Interesting. Okay. All right, what did they do with the apple? Let's see, which one did they put the apple on? All right, well, she used... Oh, no, that's okay. Blue. Okay. But I don't have any blue going on here, but we'll see. All right, let's see. That one, we'll see. That I used there, but green on green, that would not. That would fight. That would be a disaster. That's cute. I like that. Oh, that's just, that's it. That's the one. We don't have to go any further. We could go on this one. No, you see. Yeah, this immediately. Immediately. Okay, I'll just show you the rest of them in here. I think that's the one they had it on. Oh, that's ugly. Ugly! I don't like it. Is there another blue? No, that's, that's the one. I like it. Okay. So that takes care of that. So now, scoot that out of the way. <laughs> All right, now we're going to have fun. All right, let's see, what does it say again? It said, adhere the card layer with finished iris design to the folded card surface of your choice. Yeah. All right, but it, I'm just, again, using the glue stick. So all, all I want to do is just glue all these little back pieces. And I mean, maybe you want to use your glue double-sided tape. I mean, I don't know, but this looks like it's a better choice. This works just perfect. And this is a lot cheaper to do. You're 
double-sided tape. I wouldn't, I, I'm very peculiar. I'm very particular, let me say it that way, with what I use it on, because I'm very cost-minded, you know, thrifty-minded kind of a thing. So that's where I always say this is a better, you know, this is cheaper to replace than your double-sided. Okay, now, make sure I'm getting the fold going the right way. Yes, I want it to go that way. Okay, yeah, that's the back of the card there. Turn my apple over. Line it up. Center it. Make sure it's even everywhere. Press. Oh, just gorgeous. Have I said that? <laughs> said that enough times just I mean what do you think isn't it just gorgeous this is when I get excited I mean you know I'm not one of those people you're not going to hear me come on my channel and say hi it's Marcia welcome back everybody no you will not hear me do that and there are people who do that and I'm just you know tickled pink but I use that takes a lot of energy it really does and I, I mean my energy is precious to me now, when I get excited about a card like this, I will express that, and I will tell you I am thrilled and tickled pink, and I am. So there it is. Oh, just a masterpiece. What do you think? Isn't it gorgeous? Now, see, that is something that you can really take pride in, isn't it? No one... No one, I've, and except that one friend, has ever sent me a card like this. So you get this, or you make it like I just showed you, and you will absolutely blow your friends away. Whoever you give it to will just be absolutely saying, now that she is talented. You know, yeah, they think we're talented when we give them these other cards, but yeah. You know, like the one I did the other day. Let me get it out right here next to me on my desk okay now you saw me do this okay and if somebody who's not crafty they're not a card maker junk journaler whatever and I mean this is pretty it's beautiful it's gorgeous I love it too I got thrilled over it yesterday too I mean I, I love it it is but comparing some side by side you're talking two completely different techniques right now this technique, you can duplicate it all day long on every project. Super, super simple, fast, and easy to do. It was just layering, sewing, put your little embellishments, and you're done. You know, same thing when I did the envelope. Same thing. So I started with my tea dyed envelope. I embellished it, pretty that up, pretty this up, you know, reinforced it here. And the reason why I decided to reinforce it on the inside is because I love the tea dyed. I wanted to keep that. The pink would have been okay on the outside here, but no, I wanted it to reinforce on the inside. So, and then the same thing with my little journal. It's beautiful. Here's the double-sided, uh, double-sided hidden paper clip. Okay, so now it can go right here. This is a gorgeous, everything is gorgeous. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look, it's beautiful. Okay, everything is beautiful. And this is just as beautiful. But now, cutting out those papers, folding them, using your template every time, because you have to use the template, and then putting this on top of it. It has to have something on top of it, and then you, you, know, you put it on a base. But think of this on a journal cover. Think of this inside your journal on a page. How beautiful is that going to be when that person gets to that page, and I've not seen anyone use this technique in the journal, so go ahead, go with it, go for it, do it, let me know, tell me where your channel is, and let me know so I can come see it, if you're going to put it on Instagram or Facebook, I would love to see you do this in a journal. So this one is going to go to a friend, and I will do this and put it in a journal. So our next video we will do that together. And actually, you could turn it into a little journal. You know how we do that. I do that all the time. Just put the papers in there and you've got yourself a journal. That's quick and easy. A journal is not... Okay, a junk journal are all the pages 
with the, you know, yeah, the sewn in signatures or the glued in signatures, you know, that's more like what a junk journal is. But a journal journal, just a journal, then, um, should I put, should I, what could I, how could I cover that up? Could, happy anniversary to you too? I could do that. Maybe just cut, stamp my anniversary stamp and put that in there. That's what I like to do with these. You know, we don't celebrate birthdays, but I could cover that up and put anniversary in that. So I can save that and still use it for my friend. So I could do that for her. I thought there was a get well with love. Congratulations. It's your birthday. Another one. It's your anniversary. It's your graduation day. Congratulations. It's your baptism day. Ooh, that would be pretty. Best wishes. All right, congratulations again. Another birthday. Feel better. Oh, feel better. Yes, she needs that one. And another birthday. You know, of course, why does there have to be more birthdays? Of course, you know. Well, we know it. And one, one. Okay, one welcome baby. <laughs> and then there was how many multiple things in here for a baby. And she gives me one for the baby and gives me umpteen birthdays that I don't need. With deepest sympathy. Okay, oh, that one is good. That one is good. But that's okay. I'm going to change these. I'm going to take these birthdays. And I'm going to show you how we're going to change these birthdays. Okay? So we're going to do that right here on this video or maybe we'll do it in another video we'll do it in another video all right so come back that's what we're going to do in the next video i'm going to show you how to take embellishments because that's what one of my friends said when we were doing our little card zoom craft and i said how i love the crafters companion i said oh yeah but they put the holidays and they put the birthdays in there and since we don't celebrate it but this is that's okay that's okay of course now i do skip anything with halloween which she doesn't ever do halloween which i love that about her also, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to take these th sentiments that we don't use, those of us who don't, you know who you are, that's followers of my channel, and I'm going to show you how to take and cover these up. There's nothing wrong with them, okay, it's just a word, okay, there's nothing wrong with it, and we're going to cover that one word up. So stay tuned, we're going to do that in the next video. So thank you for being here with me today. I hope you loved this Iris Fold card as much as I did from Anna Griffin, Iris Fold card making kit. Make 15 beautiful 3D cards. Okay, and it comes with everything that you need. The template, as you saw, the little folded pieces that you need, the card bases, the sentiments, and then the die cut shapes to go over it. Now what I would like to do also one day is to let's play around with our dies, go through it and see what we have already in our own stash that we could use and just take this card size. Yeah, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And let's see what we can come up with and we can make some more. I mean, so, so some of these I'm not going to use. I already know that. I mean, so the owl, yes, but those cakes and all that. The cupcake I'll use, but the other stuff I won't use. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll make up my own and, and replace that in, uh, in the kit. So tomorrow's video is going to be taking sentiments that you don't use and turning it into a sentiment that you can use. Okay, so tune back in for that. And if you have subscribed to my channel, that will be... Um, You'll be able to enter my next giveaway when we reach 400 subscribers. So we're getting closer, inching, inching, inching. <laughs> but if you share and invite your friends, we'll make it there quicker and then I can do the giveaway. All right. So thank you for being here with me today and I will see you in the next video. Keep creating in the sunshine. Bye-bye.